the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. How are you doing today, says my I hope you are doing great. To God be the glory. 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 I want to wish you all happy new year in advance to god be the glory to god be the glory i hope you had a wonderful time celebrating your christmas and i hope you enjoyed our uh, uh, christmas series messages uh may the lord bless you may the lord continue to bless you and be with you in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for your support and for christ god's messages may the lord be with you in jesus mighty name uh to god be the glory to god be the glory this is uh, our, our, the final week, right? The final week of the of, of the month, and we're going to be sharing our um, monthly message summary. And today we're going to be sharing November message summary. But before we go into that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful once again for bringing Your Word to us for for the wisdom and the knowledge of your word you're about to unveil unto us, giving us more insight, more depth understanding about your, your the, the messages, your word to us. Lord, we thank you. We pray as we go, you will speak to us. You will prepare our hearts to receive and understand more of your will and your righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, sirs, and God bless you, mess. Thank you for tuning in unto and for Christ's gospel messages. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. So, in the month of November, we started the, that month with the message titled, What Will Be Will Be? What Will Be Will Be? And it's a question, and, and actually, in that month, we, we, we actually started that month with a prayer section also praying about that and preparing but at this message is trying to help uh, the question is actually it's, it's, it's not something that we are supposed to focus on but the question is actually calling our attention to the fact that what will be might not just be so we don't need we, we don't have to relax and feel like what will be will be without taking any action any step of progress towards the purpose of your creation towards your goal towards your dream in life towards the fulfillment of your career of your of your of your purpose of your plans no there is need for action. There is need for you to take the step. There is need for you to walk towards that path. Having that dream, having the goal is, is, is good. So what will be will not just be. But now, it's it's kind of like you, you already knew your destination. You, you're, you're driving to, to a particular destination. Now, the, 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 the GPS is for you to have a guide of where to pass. You already knew where you're going. Now you, you have an idea of what you want to become, where you want to go to. You need to walk in the path and the direction that will lead you there. And you don't just have to be going to any street, any direction, like someone who doesn't know where he or she is going to. So what will be, will not just be. And sometimes we also got in that message, that what, what was meant to be, might not even be. Praise the Lord. So it is very important. It is very important. And this is, I could also say this, by the grace of God, that as we proceed into the new year, 2023, through the grace and the strength of the Lord, we need to, 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 to be prepared. That yes, we need to walk in, in we need to walk and proceed towards the fulfillment of our plans, of our goals, of our dreams to accomplish those new dreams and goals in that new year. We need to walk towards it because what was meant to be might not even be and what will be, what was meant to be might not just be. There was a deliberate action steps necessary for us to take and may the lord help us in jesus name the second week we will we got a message titled importance of salvation importance of salvation and this is kind of like a building block to what will be will be 
that's yes they, 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 okay actually a preparation for the following week uh, the, the message for the following week about you special the importance of salvation made us to understand that it is necessary for us to be saved and just last week we just we just had the, the, the celebrated the remembering the arrival of our Lord Jesus Christ and that is the that is the that is the, the the reason the importance the guide about the importance of salvation it is necessary we couldn't have done it we couldn't have been able to 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 have this fellowship this relationship with our heavenly father this communication with our heavenly father this victory over sin if not of the arrival, if not of the coming, if not of the presence, if not of the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. The importance of salvation. And God made it clear to us. The Bible, the Bible says in the book of John chapter 3 from verse 16, it's, it's revealed that yes, God loved the world God love his creatures as a whole that he gave and now we are responsible that saying that yes whosoever believe on this gift of salvation whosoever trust and is able to accept whosoever is willing to accept this gift of salvation that yes the most high God has presented to his creatures would not perish but have everlasting life And the following verse made it clear that he that he the, the, the one that refuses to accept this gift is condemned already because they, they refused to accept the gift of God. The importance of salvation. It is very important, it is very necessary. Are you are you are you yet to be a child of God? Are you yet to receive this gift of salvation? To be a great joy that you surrender you 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 surrender yourself before God and accept his gift of love for you even before you 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 end this year 2022 getting ready to go into a new year as a, a, a child of God The Bible says that the, the, the angels of God rejoices over one sinner that repents, even over, over that one that accepts the, the, the gift of God, the gift of salvation, the, the, the becoming a, a child of God, a new creature. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know if if, if you're there, you you're ready to accept the Lord Jesus Christ you, as your Lord and personal Savior. You are ready to receive this gift because it is the gift of God's love. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever, whoever believes in Him, whoever accepts Him, whoever believes in Him would not perish but have everlasting life. Can repeat this prayer after me because uh, I want to make that opportunity by the grace of God to lead you to this prayer of salvation that yes you want to talk to God by yourself the Lord I'm ready to accept your gift of salvation so that you can have that opportunity go through that experience before the end yes before the, the, the year runs out and be a child of God ready to proceed into a new year as a child of God, walking in the way of the Lord. You're ready to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You can repeat this prayer after me. Just, just open your heart and, and just repeat this prayer after me. Oh, with your with your whole heart, that's what I meant by open open your heart. Be willing to, be, to, to, to tell the Lord, yes, Lord, here am I. You can repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you. For coming on earth for the salvation of my soul. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of your love, your only begotten Son, to save me from my sinful ways. I am a sinner. Oh Lord, please forgive me my sins. 
cleanse me through your precious blood. I confess my sins before you this day. Please forgive me my sins and deliver me from them all. Lord Jesus, I accept you this day as my Lord and personal Savior. Come and begin to rule and reign in my life and give me your victory over sins from this day onward. So help me, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Congratulations unto you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you. And may the Lord continue to keep your soul in His righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My, my advice to you is for you now to, to start reading the Bible, start studying the Word of God. And, and in case if you have not subscribed to For Christ Gospel Messages YouTube channel, please extend www.youtube.com slash at I F C G M. Please subscribe. And this the purpose is for you to stay connected to Tom for Christ Gospel Message Messages YouTube channel so that you can you can get more uh, a lot about our videos. And there are a lot of videos right there already that you could actually go watch. Just and these are a ways for you to, to learn more about the word of God, to, the, to learn more about the, 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 the mind of God, God's interest, God's desire, God's will for your life. God bless you, sis, and God bless you, mess. And also, most importantly, look for a Bible believing church. A church that's that they that, 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 that follow the instruction of God and begin to fellowship with them and I pray may the Lord himself guide you to that church he wants you to, to to begin to learn more even about him in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you says and God bless you man in Jesus mighty name amen uh, uh, the third week the third week the third week we had the message titled you are special you are special God has created each and every one of us for an importance and also a unique purpose so you are so special that you need to fulfill your destiny you need to fulfill the purpose of your creation and just as we started with the message the first week of that month of November with the message what will be will be saying that what was meant to be might not just be there is a need for a deliberate action and also now that I even reference it even in the in the, in the, 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 the topic I'm here right now right so please uh, I will, I will encourage you to please actually take a look at those, those messages again for, for to gain more insight even as focus on each one doing the messages but now the reference I want to pick from that what will be will be is about we, we, we saw the reflection either in the message itself or the prayer section that yeah Daniel 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 from the first day the Bible says in the book of Daniel that, that from the first day that he started this prayer God have answered him and sent the, the answer for his request but the angel the messenger the angel God sent to deliver the answer was delayed by the enemy, by the Prince of Persia. But Daniel, that is why, being a child of God, importance of salvation, this is also reflected in the message that yes, when you are now a child of God, you can win by adventure, so, so the enemy are delaying what God has or purpose to have been fulfilled in your life the miracle that should have been accomplished manifested in your life the enemy are delaying it. it now it is our responsibility not just to fold our hands but to pray and call upon the name of the Lord and now importance of salvation that you're a child of God that a child of God right as according to the importance of salvation you're now a child of God you can call for the help of your heavenly father that my father my God help me help me fulfill the purpose of my creation fulfill that miracle in my life where is this miracle where is the answer to my prayer and God will surely arise and bring the fulfillment of that answer 
that the enemy might have been delaying. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, even concerning my life and concerning your life, I pray whatever the enemies have been delaying in our lives to, the, 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 to, to manifest in the goodness of God, I decree you, I call, oh Lord, our God, oh Lord, and my Redeemer, I request, where is this, the miracles you have purposed to have been manifested in our lives? In your mercy, raise help and bring them to manifestation. Whichever one the enemies are delaying, raise help for us and bring them, deliver them to us by your mighty hand and power. In Jesus' mighty name, fulfill those miracles in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You are special. It is important for you to fulfill destiny. We should continue to pray as well the lord help me to fulfill the purpose of my creation help me to to accomplish the purpose of my creation because when you accomplish that goal there there there, there are a lot of people god has has also set to be blessed from your accomplishments either just by your testimony or even being a blessing to them either way just giving a testimony and people seeing you that wow this person has fulfilled this person is so great in life because you have fulfilled the purpose that testimony alone can encourage others to fulfill their own mission to, to have trust and faith in God that alone is okay of motivating others to accomplish their own goal and more than that, you could now be a blessing, either financially, even to advise, and even pray along with others and encourage others. Oh, there's so a lot of ways that God can help our the accomplishment of our purpose in life to be also of benefit and encouragement to others. But if one did not fulfill that purpose, those people might not get that encouragement to accomplish their own purpose as well, to trust in God as well. So it is important. You are special. May the Lord help us all to fulfill the purpose of our creation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The final week in, the, in that month of November, we had mercy titled Prayer of Thanks. And the, this was just focused about appreciating God. It is important for us to appreciate God. Yes, we might have a, a lot of prayers, pending prayers, but it is also important to still remember the goodness of God in our lives and appreciate them. Even, even to say, Lord, I thank you and I believe that these prayers you, you have already answered me and they will surely come to the, the answers will surely be manifested. Prayer of thanks. So many ways that you can appreciate God. Just give thanks to the Lord. Just give glory to the Lord because the Lord has been gracious to us. It is by His grace we are still alive. It is by His grace that the enemies did not rejoice over us. It is by His grace. It is by His grace alone. So it is important for us to continue to give our prayers of thanks even unto the Lord. The Bible says in the book of 1 Thessalonians, In everything give thanks for this is the will of God for us in Christ Jesus. God bless you sirs and God bless you mess. This remains on for Christ Gospel Messages and for Christ Gospel Messages. Take care. This is our November message summary. God bless you and God be with you. Happy New Year in advance again. God bless you. God bless you. Look forward to our message this weekend and God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Take care right now for Christ Gospel Messages. Bye.